Rust in vehicles is a problem that is sorely underestimated. Rust on a variety of vehicle parts can quickly pose a risk for human safety and for your vehicle. Rain, grit salt, condensation in cavities, wear caused by friction and inadequate rust proofing in general are the most prominent causes of rust, posing a real risk to any vehicle. Reliable rust proofing in cavities and on the underbody can prevent rust, keeping you safe and preserving the value of your vehicle. Rust proofing should only be carried out by trained specialists. Cleanliness and precision are essential, which is why it's important to follow the proper work procedure and use the appropriate materials correctly. Next, we'll show you how to perform professional cavity and underbody rust proofing. First, all plastic parts must be removed from the chassis, wheel arch wings and door panels. The vehicle must then be thoroughly cleaned with grease remover and a high pressure cleaner to remove all dirt and flaking rust. After being cleaned, the vehicle must be left to dry completely. This can be done in a short time using suitable blow dryers. Alternatively, the vehicle can be left outside overnight to dry. In addition, use a compressed air blower to dry any cavities and overlaps. Once the car has been thoroughly cleaned and dried, make sure that any parts not being treated, such as the brake system or parts of the air conditioning, are covered up. Next, the vehicle must be inspected. Ideally, the cavity should also be examined using an endoscope camera. Flaking rust and any deposits must be removed, for which a rust remover, such as Dinitrol Zero Rust Gel, can be used. The gel is applied to the rusted areas with a brush and left to work for 12 to 24 hours before the loosened rust is removed. If the vehicle has insulating or sound absorbing material in the doors, ensure that it does not become detached during the work on the vehicle, as this may result in damage to the electrical system or window lifters. Once the vehicle has been properly cleaned and pre-treated, carefully study the Dinitrol spray diagram for the vehicle to be treated. This is essential to avoid damage to the electrical system, airbags and other sensitive parts which could result in high costs. And please, make sure you always wear appropriate protective clothing for all work. First, the cavities must be treated with a penetrating, water-repelling Dinitrol cavity protection product. Any excess material must be removed. The material needs 15 to 20 minutes to work and penetrate the rust in the cavities and flanges. Next, the underbody can be prepared with the Dinitrol cavity protection product that we used in the previous step. However, it's essential to ensure that the underbody is only lightly sprayed in order not to exceed the maximum layer thickness of 25 micrometers or else the second layer may not bond properly. After 15 to 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most, the underbody is treated with a Dinitrol underbody protection product. The layer thickness must be at least 300 micrometers and not exceed 500 micrometers. Once the treatment of the underbody is complete, the cavities of the boot door and bonnet are then sealed. Make sure that the engine and boot interior are carefully covered. Once professionally rust proofed, the vehicle must be left to dry for 12 to 24 hours depending on the product used. The vehicle will then have the best possible long life protection against rust. It's an investment that's really worth it for your vehicle and above all, to keep its occupants safe. When returning the vehicle to the customer, make sure that all parts of the vehicle that were covered have had the foil removed. Dinitrol, the quality solution.